in Grenfell's shadow, portraits of survivors and those who helped them. The people that we lost in the tower, and I feel like who this community is, is that we're golden. But you can look to me. For the last two years, Feruza Afawerki has captured her community. And this is the result, a street exhibition called Gold and Ashes. So Gold and Ashes was really inspired by how I see this community and the name itself is quite self-explanatory. And Ashes is also a sign of the loss that we've felt and um, the great loss is due to the deep love we've had for the people who live there. Feruza had to come to terms with her own loss after losing her sister and her niece in the fire. I think it helped me face the tragedy um, in a way that I probably wouldn't have. I had to sit with families who were still raw in their grief. It did make me face it and I, did, I think it has been cathartic going through this process. After death and tragedy, the portraits are pictures of life and hope. When Grenfell happened, I lost a lot of trust in humanity. I lost a lot of trust in, in the goodness of people and I think if I hadn't had the community around me, it would have been all bad. But that's the reality is that the most valuable thing that we have is each other. And if you don't place value on that, then you'll be really lost. Standing next to his own picture, Tiago Alves, who escaped from the 13th floor. It helps provide some context as to who we are as people. I think one of the things that we felt like we lost after the fire was our identities. We're not just our trauma, we're not just our income status. We are a community of people who has had to come together after the fire. And I think this art piece has, it will show the breadth of uh, community spirit that we all have. I'm incredibly proud to see it all come together. And I feel like I've done my sister proud. Yeah, I feel like she's been with me throughout this whole process, guiding me along. And my niece, you know, who was three when she passed away. She was such a creative soul in those short years. I feel like she's been the inspiration as well of everything I've done. Golden Ashes is on Bramley Road, North Kensington, and a book of the photos will be published next month. Rags Martel, ITV News.